Today, we'll see how to install a very popular continuous integration tool called Jenkins on Windows. First, we'll see how to install Java Development Kit. JDK is one of the prerequisites you need in order to run Jenkins. Then, we'll set up the JDK path in the environment variable. After that, we'll see how to download and install Jenkins on Windows. Once that's complete, we'll run Jenkins on localhost 8080 which is the default port for running Jenkins. Then we'll have a glance at the Jenkins server interface and look at some of features present on Jenkins. Finally, we'll learn how to build and run a job on Jenkins. To download and install JDK, simply type install JDK on Google and click on the first link, which is Java SE Development Kit 8. As you can see, we get a list of downloads for JDK. Since I'm on a Windows 64-bit system, I have already installed JDK version for Windows 64. Before you install JDK, you also need to accept the license agreement. Let me show you where my JDK has been installed. First, I go to my C drive, Program Files. Under the Java folder, you find two more folders, that's JDK and JRE. Now, let's set up the path in the environment variable. Go to System Properties. Under the Advanced tab, select Environment Variables. Under System Variables, there are two more variables called Java Home and JRE Home. Java Home contains the path for JDK. I'll show you where it is. Go to JDK folder, copy the path and paste it in the value section. JRE Home contains the path for JRE. Similarly, go to the JRE folder, copy the path and paste it in the corresponding value. One more thing you need to do is set up the bin folder location for JDK in path variables. Let's see where the bin folder location is. Here it is. After setting up the location, click OK to finish the setup. Now, shall we check if Java has been successfully installed? For that, go to the command prompt and type java hyphen version. You can see our Java is successfully installed and it's up and running. The version we've installed is shown here. Now let's download Jenkins on Windows. Simply type download Jenkins on Google and click on the first link. Here we can see that Jenkins provides two types of releases long-term support release and weekly release. As I'm interested in a more stable release, so I will go for LTS. Now, when I scroll down, I'll get an option for Windows. Once I select that, a stable installer starts to download. You can see it says, thank you for downloading Windows Stable Installer. So now our Jenkins has started downloading. This might take a few seconds. Till then maybe you can catch up if you are left behind. Okay, so the download is complete. Now, let's go ahead and unzip the downloaded Jenkins file. After the unzipping has been done, we'll start the installation. Click on this folder. Click Run. Next. This is the default path where Jenkins will be installed. We don't need to change it, so we can just go ahead with Next, Install. After this, the Jenkins installation is successfully completed. Select Finish. Yes, that's all. Now that installation is complete, let's go and explore Jenkins. Go to your web browser and search localhost colon 8080. You can see that it says welcome to Jenkins. So I have already created a username and password for Jenkins. I'll enter my credentials. And that's all. This is how the Jenkins homepage and interface looks like. And that's all. Signing in.
Yes, so that's the dashboard and this is how the Jenkins homepage and interface looks like. So if you're installing Jenkins for the very first time, it will ask you to install some recommended plugins. I've already installed mine, so I don't need to install them once again. Now, there are a lot of things you can do in Jenkins. Let me run you through a few of them. There's some jobs that I've already created and run. This is new item. It allows you to create a new project. So you can create a freestyle project, a Maven project, a build pipeline, etc. Then, going back to the dashboard, there is build history. So this section shows you the status of your build. Here you can see what's the build name, the time since the build is running, and what's the status of your build. There is another very important section called Manage Jenkins. Here you can configure your system, you can configure global security, credentials, then there is some global tool configuration. You can also download and manage your plugins. Here you can see the four tabs where you have some updates, you have some available plugins, you have the plugins that you've already installed. And then there is advanced plugin as well. Now let me show you how to create and run a job in Jenkins. So coming back to the dashboard, let me select new item. We can name our job here. Let me name the job as Jenkins demo. I will create a freestyle project. So select that and click OK. This might take a few seconds. So when we have created that, here we have a number of options that we can go ahead with. You have your source code management, building triggers, building environment, and then of course some post build actions. So that was about creating and running a job on Jenkins. Let's give some description to our job. So we have created the job. We give description something like this is my first Jenkins job. So we will not use any source code management tool. In the build section, as you can see, there is an option to execute Windows batch command. Click on that. And here you can give your command. Let's use the echo command. I will write something like, hello, this is my first Jenkins demo. And then I'll also give the date and time parameters so that I can track on what date and time this job was built. That's it. So click apply and then save. Okay, so this job is created. Now let's build it. Go to build now. Once you click it, you can see a build history has been created. Click on that. In the console output, you can see the output of your very first Jenkins job. It says, hello, this is my first Jenkins demo. What you gave in the command box, you can see that. And you can also see the date, date and time when this job was created. So we've successfully created our first Jenkins job. So thank you guys. Today we saw how to download and install Jenkins. We had a look at the Jenkins interface and the things you can do using Jenkins. Finally, we created our first Jenkins job and ran it successfully. So that's all from my side today. For more such interesting videos, subscribe to our channel Simply Learn to get the latest updates. Thank you and happy learning. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.